Hi, it's Anthea here. Did a bit of work today and then, um, I don't know, someone really annoying on the internet. Just sometimes you get people that are obsessed with you. So that's what this video is going to be about. Um, I did the background for this painting. Still got to do the details of the puppy, but I'm working on that one at the moment. So, um, just to take my mind off things. Some people are really annoying. Um, I don't know whether to read it out or not, but I'm going to. I don't have to upload the video. Okay, so with YouTube, unfortunately, you can't fully block people. So I made a comment under someone's video who basically said, if you don't meet the criteria for autism diagnosis, you're not autistic. So I left a comment. Uh, saying, I have seen popular advocates admit they don't meet full criteria yet were still diagnosed or they refuse to be assessed in case misdiagnosed as normal which would take away their identity and um, yeah, there's someone that uh, makes quite a lot of money from it but apparently who uh, actually admitted that they don't wouldn't meet the criteria as it stands but they've made it into their career to be um it, anyway there were a few people that replied and i replied back now this person who i'd hidden i don't know i could still see them kind of um so they were obviously having a little I'm going to say tantrum over being ignored because I replied to the other people who replied back, most of them, because they, this one, replied in capital letters, self-diagnosis as valid. Not only is diagnosis not accessible to everyone, it can be a matter of people's actual livelihood and safety as marginalised people. So that was all in capitals, which means... With, um, from what I understand, uh, texting, etiquette, shouting. <clears throat> so this was obviously another dig at me, but I didn't notice it to be honest, to be straight away. Instead of complaining online at any given time about awful self-diagnosed people, maybe advocate for a safer and more accessible diagnosis, exclamation mark. Maybe that would actually help something. Exclamation mark italics. So um yeah, I didn't didn't actually notice that first. And then I finally did notice it. They were uh ranting on about more about something else. <coughs> and then this. Oh, I will say it exclamation mark. This person is absolutely going after neurodivergent people, including fellow autistic people, because it gives them a self-righteous buzz. Comments like mine above. Hey, why don't you actually advocate for safer and more accessible diagnosis? Get ignored because it's not about uplifting the community regardless of what that person might claim to themselves or other people. So that was about me. <laughs> and I was, then I, I realised that I'd seen this person elsewhere basically making passive aggressive and watering aggressive comments but I can't remember what now because it's just a you know I recognize their picture more than anything with their anonymous profile wanting attention obviously I gave them some so I said what is your problem with me projection to the max I am all for safer diagnosis and that includes being thorough with differential diagnosis. I don't personally identify with the label neurodivergent because of this kind of nonsense. 
going after neurodivergent people is an exaggeration given many in these communities would call me neurodivergent. It's not a label I personally find useful, so I don't call myself neurodivergent. So then the reply comes back to me. I've been incredibly explicit what my problem is with you. And then another comment, several comments in a row. Everyone else seems to have a problem with you too. But sure. Dragging out the shore. It's on me. Of course it is. Sarcasm. Um, the other people were uh, agreeing or disagreeing with bits of my points. They were discussing the ideas. This person's good enough for me. I, I, I'm going to guess um, it's anonymous with this person. I'm just going to guess they're female. That's what I'm going to guess is. Anyway. Also, another comment, see. Also, no. What I'm talking about regarding diagnosis is being accessible and safe to people. It's not what you're talking about. Uh, where, where have I said that diagnosis shouldn't be safe? I mean, or accessible. I mean, totally misrepresent. Anyway, I'm talking about stigma. Hey, that's why it's done on my channel. Legal repercussions. Financial inability except to access diagnosis. And all of that is literally incompatible with an anti-self-diagnosis stance. Self-righteous buzz signed. That's my problem. Okay, I mean, not quite sure what what the problem is about this, but anyway, then carrying on and more. <laughs> Psst, you don't have to identify with the label neurodivergent. Still not a defense for going after people who aren't neurotypical. Apparently leaving comments is going after. Oh my fuck, God's sakes. Okay. One more comment before I take a fucking break. If anyone thinks I'm going really, really hard on this person, it's not just the this comment thread, not by a long shot. No, you've been harassing me for fucking. Oh god, I've done know. Lots of threads or oh, passive aggressive comments. I think they're pissed off because I would, um, I just started ignoring them, you know. But I don't know how to say. Can be with children and pets. They want to get your attention, they're gonna get it with any behaviour. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe this person didn't get enough attention, healthy attention as a child, I don't know, but it's, it's kind of ridiculous that some people got really obsessed with me. But anyway, coming back to their rant here, I can't remember any comment thread this person has been in where they don't bring this type of thing up. Um, maybe that's because I comment on things what I'm interested in, which is about diagnosis and stuff. I mean, hmm. I believe this person is continuing to perpetuate harm to the autistic community and the neurodivergent community despite people attempting to educate. I know today I have been sounding pissed. I am pissed. I'm tired of trying to educate people who are perpetuating harm against people I am part of and stand in solidarity with. I'm tired. Well, you don't say I'm tired too. Okay, so I just called it. You know, this is just ranting on. I said to this person, you are bullying a disabled person and this isn't the first time. This kind of nonsense and drama is why I don't call myself autistic anymore and also why I don't call myself neurodivergent. Also, oh, you keep making this personal rather than discussing ideas. Hence why I don't want to interact with you. You might want to check your blatant hypocrisy. You're accusing me of doing everything you do. 
So then there's a bit more of a rant coming my way. Longer rant. No, it's not personal what you're doing. I'm self-diagnosed. Of course it's freaking personal. I'm literally talking about your ideas. That's all in capitals. Your ideas are harmful, exclamation mark. That's what I'm calling out. That's okay though. Keep thinking that me calling you out on stuff is bullying. Keep feeling like a victim instead of asking yourself, I'm sorry, I'm dramatising this because that's what they're coming across to me. Dramatic. So that's what I'm dramatising it. Okay. Alright, here we go. You keep feeling like the victim instead of asking yourself over and 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 over. How many times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gosh, I'm trying to make a point, I think. You have to be actually harmful to other marginalised people. And then talk about hypocrisy to boot. That's freaking hilarious. Actually, I wish I could get into a disagreement with you without pulling out the, oh, I'm disabled. Oh, I have communication differences. as some sort of shield for your harmful behaviour. It's not a shield. By the way, those um, can be autism spectrum features, um, ironically. Um, okay, and this is an additional part. Edit, and I'm not talking about having problems with communication, where things might need to be questioned or explained on either side. That's completely fine, but that's not what's happening. Okay, so what is happening here? The person doesn't agree with me because I b believe that self-diagnosis is unwise. I've had so much harassment, hate and abuse over that. Uh, anyway, come back to this drama. Um, this has come out of order a little bit, I think. Uh, so I'll just jump ahead. Um, I replied, I said, I don't identify as autistic. Is that word I used to, by the way, for, I don't know, over five years or so. I said, I don't ident identify as autistic. Is that word has been distorted by those who desperately want this label as an identity. I am diagnosed pervasive developmental disorder, not otherwise specified, PD, DNOS, maybe that's amongst other things. I have had clinically significant autism spectrum features since childhood. I no longer call myself autistic because of bullying from those who desperately want this label as an identity to bully others like you. I don't care for your identity politics. This is what it's all about. Stinking frickin' identity politics. Okay, so anyway, they've come back and they said, if you're not autistic, then why are you talking about autistic issues? Why don't you let the autistic community handle discussing self-diagnosing autism? Now, autistic community these days is actually mostly self-diagnosed people, including this person. Okay. And then I added, uh, uh, so I added clarification. Um, I don't want to say use the word autistic anymore. I'm still on the autism spectrum. That's a psychiatrist word. So I put here, I am on the autism spectrum. The autistic community is now mostly self-diagnosed, telling those who are diagnosed they are not welcome. And then reply, okay, again, let the autistic community of autistic people mostly self-diagnosed and then the, um, the influences by the way are also people who are claiming ASD1 uh, with it, with it quietly they had no childhood features and they had nothing going on for decades until midlife burnout right okay so let's come back to this um, okay again let the autistic community of autistic people talk amongst themselves about whether self-diagnosis is valid this is for the autistic community. So it's very similar to what they said before. Um, I think some of these were a little bit out of order, but they said it's a community issue in my reply to it being community thing. Um, the autistic community. They said it's a community issue. 
I don't go to the black community and talk about my opinion of what needs to happen. Insert black related issue here. For example, you're, if you're not part of the community, then don't weigh in on community issues. If you want to distance yourself from the autistic community, then distance yourself from the autistic community. I actually uh, comment about diagnosis, you see, but it's, it's tied in, and the bigger picture of how this watering down, by the way, affects other diagnoses. So you see the bigger picture as well as the details. Anyway, I said, so they said, personally, like I've indicated before and in other places, I value community and solidarity with you. Right. But if you don't want to be part of the community, don't be a part of the community. Well, not. I mean, I talk to some autistic people. I make commentary on a few things. I don't really, I've always been kind of, to a large degree isolated so this community thing it seems very neurotypical to me it just is an aside but anyway I put about the community thing and this is the problem identity politics labels which autistic has been made into opt in opt out those with actual diagnosed developmental disorders no longer welcome the other problem is assuming everyone who identifies with a said label has the exact same view. I happen to believe that I have diagnosis for any diagnosis as I'm wise. I have copped a lot of hate and abuse for that. <sighs> tired of this. Okay, that's readable. So the reply to me was, Nobody has said, to my absolute best knowledge, and I am certainly not freaking saying that people who are diagnosed officially with autism are not part of the autism community. All I'm saying is that I am respecting the fact that you do not label yourself autistic. And essentially they like that because there was someone else that said, oh, if you don't call yourself autistic, then you go away, go and talk to the bipolar community. <laughs> anyway, that type of thing is what I mean when opting, when I say opting out. I'm not going to force you into a community against your will. It would actually be inappropriate and awful of me. So I'm saying that if you don't consider yourself part of the community, maybe chill about speaking of what people should or shouldn't do regarding autism or what should or should not be acceptable regarding autism. Look at the freaking mirror. Oh god, I don't waste my time and energy. Okay, so I replied, much of the bullying was because people from the autistic and neurodivergent communities were mad at me because I stopped calling myself autistic. Still on the spectrum though, still had clinically significant features including communication difficulties since childhood. I like some popular influencers who admit quietly at times they're nothing to notice until midlife burnout. I don't call myself autistic because advocacy has become toxic with bullying over identity politics. I speak up about diagnoses in general as I have multiple diagnoses. Perhaps ask yourself, who are you without the self-diagnosed opt-in label? <sighs> Finally, a slightly shorter comment. You can call yourself what you want or what you don't want. However, I would suggest you stop talking about opt-in, opt-out being a problem. <laughs> this is not telling, was it telling me... Uh, so I mean, I'm not, oh, I don't know, because if nobody's allowed to do that, you're not allowed to stop calling yourself autistic. You can't have different rules for yourself and other people. You do get that right. <sighs> Waste of time and energy. So I replied, well, I'm done here. I don't like people telling me what I should think or believe. I would appreciate it if you would drop your obsession with me. I comment on various videos related to diagnoses. Like I have here. 
I have lived experience. Just because you don't like me and don't agree with me doesn't mean that I am a bigot causing harm to an entire community. Didn't know I had that much power. Um, did I read out the bigot comment? I can't remember now when they rented that I was a bigot to someone else. Oh, there's a comment 10 minutes ago. They've got to have the freaking last word. Okay, so anyway, I'll, I'll just go back to near the beginning because they started replying on a different thread. So, went to there. Oh, where did I see them? So I have to find these things sometimes. It's not necessarily a logical order. I'll click on their thingy. Oh, here we go. Oh, I clicked on their on their picture and it takes me to the last couple of comments. Did I make too much sense? Did I hit close to home with the idea that there are different rules for different people? If I'm telling you what you should think or believe, then you're telling me what I should think or believe. No, I'm not. I'm telling this person to get off my freaking case. But it's okay for you. I said, would suggest for a reason. We are both sharing strong opinions, but I'm not saying you have to do X, Y, Z. Where did I say they have to do any fucking thing? Anyway, I'm concerned with and will actively respond to certain harmful rhetoric. And if that's all you talk about, then I'm sure it would be easy to think that I'm specifically focused on you in particular. But I'm not, LOL. And yes, of course, you're being harmful to the community. And of course, words have power. You know that. We all know that. Don't act like the harm you're doing isn't harm just because it's not systematic harm on a wide scale. Star. By the way, are you actually diagnosed with autism by a mental health profession? I told them what I'm diagnosed with, I put in more detail actually in some older videos. Um, seen a psychiatrist, he says you're definitely on the autism spectrum. He's given me an older diagnosis which I already mentioned in this freaking threads. Okay, so anyway, I said yes because all of my diagnoses are from um, clinicians. Several diagnoses. Primary ones that affect me now is PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder, and bipolar disorder. Uh, thinking twice about do I read this fucking shit out? Because this is the fucking shit that goes on, but it has been worse when um, there's been mobbing. And who would believe that one of the most controversial things you can say online these days is that self diagnosis is not wise? Uh, but anyway. Um, so they decided to have the last word uh, somewhere again. Just wondering, you're the one dwelling on self-diagnosis being bad and having different things apply to different people. Emoji. Talking about other stuff instead though, I've always preferred that. I'd love to discuss the fact that diagnosis is not accessible to everyone as well as how it can be a matter of people's actual livelihood and safety as marginalised people. For example. I can't be bothered replying further. Um, but just this whole um, excuse about this whole being marginalised people. You could argue that I'm a marginalised person. Um, I'm on a low income. I am um, mixed, even though I don't like that term personally. I also don't like the term brown. But you know, these different identity labels I really don't identify with. But, um, and uh, you know, being a woman, they will say that they're less likely to get diagnosed, whatever, blah, blah, blah. The thing is, though, it's still considered now mild for me. Whereas in childhood, it was more prominent. It was noticed, it was just that it was dismissed as being shy back in the 70s. And so, um, and the thing is, is there's nothing done about it anyway for adults. So, um, the funny thing is, is that um, years ago when I started calling myself autistic, my son was diagnosed as Burgess syndrome as a child. Now, um, I asked the, his clinicians, would I be as well? And they said, 
Yes, you will, but we don't make it formal for adults. This is in Australia. Now, when I told people I'm autistic, they'd go, oh, no, you're not. And then when I stopped calling myself autistic, I had all these people in this community going, she's autistic, she's autistic in denial. Da, 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 da. So you just can't freaking win. And it makes no freaking difference anyway, because there's nothing done about it. And, um, oh, I just had a crack at all the knots on my back. Um, ugh, there's nothing about it. And it can actually even be used against you, and I've talked extensively about that.